We tried to open this door really hard and now it fights back. Grazes the arm causing a deep cut. And we even got an injury? What is happening? Oh, this is amazing. Cheers, guys. So you remember the issue that we had with rolling a dice in JetGPT is not random. In fact, when you build this like we did, roll dice on my behalf, you pointed out that most likely JetGPT will always roll in our favor so that we have good rolls because JetGPT is an assistant. So I wanted to optimize this and I thought, why not do it with you guys? because I couldn't find anything online that was very simple or easy to adapt. So first of all, I asked JetGPT, give me a dice roll. And I looked that it gave me a Python script, import random dice roll equals random dot rand integer between one and six dice roll. And now it gave me a six. I mean, it's the best number, but we can repeat this. Another one. Yeah, you will see it, that it analyzes. And now I got the one and this is not the best number, of course. So I think this is something that I should implement, like the viewers suggested, like a Python script. But I want to see if JetGPT 4.0, we're using the newest version, is actually a bit more smart and can give me maybe better options here. So when rolling a dice, make sure to use a Python based rent int generation. Maybe this is all that we need. Okay, start. Let's see what it gives me. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons Adventure. Your character named Thoribal Windwalker is another rogue. Well, we get rogues all over the place. We got some not so random numbers, of course. So maybe we can do something where we can roll this dice and see if this is really a random dice roll. Try to push the door open. I mean, this should be a dice roll, right? Like on strength. Okay, 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 okay. What does it do? Let me see if it's a task requiring a strength check. Rolling a d20 to determine your strength prowess. We got our dice roll, but this is not really immersive, like telling me all those things. Yeah, I think we need to remove this and go back and say when rolling a dice, make sure to use Python script with rent integer in the back end and do not tell the user about it. OK, let's see. If we can now go for B again. So it doesn't tell me rolling for strength check. Result for 14, 12 base strength plus two roll bonus. Using combination of strength and leverage, you manage to bulge the door open. I mean, it took only three seconds and the Python script should take a little bit more. I don't think that it worked. Let's go again. Yes. And it begins to give way. We're just doing this two or three times. You press your shoulder against the cold stone surface and push with all your might. The door resists for a moment before it begins to slowly grind open. Yeah, I know. Some Somehow it always works. Maybe you can just add something. React to bad and good roll results. Maybe this will do the trick. The solid effort the door begins to move like one more time, one more time. Rolling for strength result. It takes a significant effort. Finally, the door begins to open. Okay, this doesn't really work. When rolling a dice, make sure to use... Do we still have this in copy? Yes. Use the following Python script. Yeah, I know now, now I make the game really slow. Python script import random. Simulate dice roll. One, two, X, where X is your maximum dice value. Dice roll random rent in, one to X, dice roll. Import random dice roll. Okay, let's see if this works. I hope it does. You push against this, uh, your door creaks and groans, but doesn't budge. Okay, I don't know. This one was even faster, 2.7. I really thought that it will take like 10 seconds with this. Okay, that's cool. Okay, we didn't make it for the first time. So, but do not print any of the scripts. Uh, I don't know if this is really that good of uh, a sentence. Let's go for B and again. The door resists your efforts and does not budge. That's amazing. Dice roll seven. You have plus one strength. Do we have plus one strength? 
kind of strength do we have? 12 plus 1. Okay, we should have needed an 11. Okay, I'm very happy that it worked. Try to push the door again with more force. Like, how should this work? Like, this is stupid. Okay, despite your best efforts, the door remains firmly shut. This time, however, you notice the clinging king sound is becoming louder and more rapid. Suddenly, you see a small hidden compartment revealing a dart trap that fires a needle straight at you. This is amazing. We tried to open this door really hard and now it fights back. Grazes your arm, causing a deep cut. And we even got an injury? What is happening? Oh, this is amazing. All right. So do you think that we implemented this Python code somehow, this randomness? I don't know. I hope so. But I don't really care because it is fun. So now we are doing something amazing to sum up this result. We're going to read out the script with text-to-speech. I'm showing you how to do this for free in a software called 11 Labs. You can use this for your own private Dungeons and Dragons games, Harry Potter style games, Star Wars fantasy games, whatever, or just if you want to use, read out something because voices are amazing of 11 Labs. These are also the sound that we use for our Fably AI app. And here we can even choose different voices and we can also change the settings to be more stable, more var var variable and stuff like this. Now, this is the first story and I love to generate some speech here. You are Tharival Windwalker, an elven rogue who has made a name for himself by delving into dangerous ruins and ancient tombs. Recently, you've heard rumors of a hidden treasure in the long forgotten tomb of Eldoria. Enticed by the promise of riches, you have decided to embark on this perilous journey. You stand at the entrance to the tomb with nothing but your wits, skills, and gear. The stone door before you is ancient, partially covered in moss and etched with worn runes. So I think this makes it far more immersive. If you play this game on your own or you play this game with some friends online or even use it for your own pen and paper games. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make your dice rolls fail, even if they're not perfectly random i don't care i think it's fun like this how we did it stay tuned i will play two or three more rounds here